Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to texture a lantern map and set up studio lighting for your product. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and if you like this video, please don't forget to like. So, as a start, we're gonna set up our studio light. We're gonna need a plane. Press F4 to show the edges. I'm gonna take a plane by 1006, I mean 1000 centimeters by 1600. We're gonna copy this one as a copy. Check the angle snap tool here and rotate it to 90 degrees. Press T for top view and align them. Press L for left view. Make sure they're perfectly aligned. All right. I guess this will do. Press F3. Okay. Now go to render setup. Set Corona render as your renderer. Okay. Top view again. Camera. Corona camera. And sign it to the middle. And press C. Press Shift F for your save frames. You can also check it from here. Press Corona camera and click here. Show the save frames. Oops. And now for the lights. Corona lights corona light auto grid top view and set your light to rectangle i'm gonna use it as 400 by 300 for the top view light and set the intensity to 2 We're gonna need another light here, 200 by 200, and set the intensity to something like 26. We're gonna copy this as a copy, make sure it's a copy, and set the intensity to 2 again. Now, we align the lights. Press F3, take the top view up, this one rotated to 90 degrees, and uh, this one rotating to 90 as well. I'm gonna assign the lights now, this is gonna go like this, and this one like this. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Maybe I'm a little more like this, so this can cast nice shadows. Okay, and rotate this one five degrees. All right. I think it's good. Back to the camera now. Open your material editor. Grab two Corona materials. The first one is going to be dark. The second one is going to be light. For the dark material, we need a color of something like this. Okay, and the light is going to be the same. Minimize them. 
assign the dark color for the upper plane and the light one for the lower plane. Okay. Now go to plus, configure viewports, layout, select power on camera one, power on camera one, apply, okay. Go to render setup again. Make sure you select this one. You can see it's turning brown. And select the other viewport and lock it. When you lock it, go to Corona camera, extended viewport, Corona interactive, and click to start interactive session. You can see it's a bit dim now, and that's okay. I'm gonna fix this. Select Corona camera, scroll down to photographic ISO, set the ISO to something like 1600 and the f-stop something like 2.2 or maybe 2.8 16 11 let's check 3200 by 8 no by 11 by 16 i think 11 is the best okay Scroll down to tone mapping, override, adjust the contrast to 2, highlight compressed for something like 2. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Alright. Okay, let's now grab our lantern. Copy it, merge. Here it is. Scale it. Something like this. Let's fix our output size. Something like a thousand by thousand. Yes. And scale it even more. Yeah. All right. When selecting the lantern, let's select element, press on the glass, and detach it, rename it to glass. All right. We're ready to start texturing first save as desktop lantern save <clears throat> all right let's start with the glass metal for now for the glass metal uh, material sorry it's going to be easy Grab a corona material, diffuse to zero, reflection to one, refraction to one. As you can see, we have now a clean glass material. Assign it to the glass. As you can see, it's now shiny and reflecting all the lights in the scene. But we need it to be dirty a bit. We need to add dirt. So we're going to grab a bitmap and select any dirt map that you have. I think I'm gonna use this one and assign it to your reflection glossiness. As you can see now, there's a little bit of dirt showing up on the glass and I'm going to make the glass a little bit tinted go to your glass material and scroll down here till you see volumetrics and SSS 
select the distance set it to like seven and change the color to something like old looking glass maybe something like this i guess i think yeah this would do but a little bit darker all right maybe set the distance to something like five yeah i think five would do or six maybe no nah, five let's make it five all right that's for the glass material move it here okay for now let's work on the metal material it's not complicated but it will need a little time so press your windows key and right arrow to assign the material editor to go to the right we're going to need corona layered material and another corona material assign the layered material to the base and corona material to the base material rename this as metal or rusty or actually metal base we're going to need a a diffuse map you can assign any metal texture you find on the internet I found this one it seems nice all right assign it to your diffuse color and you can see that the lantern needs a UVW so UVW map box and scale it a bit something like fix the height a bit a little bit more yeah I think this is great all right back to your material we need a reflection of something like 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.55 and an IOR of something like 5 so if you don't know what IOR means it actually stands for index of refraction it controls the light or actually how the light is diverged when bouncing on a reflective material such as metal so basically the higher the value the more light bounces on the material the lower the value example one you can see it's bouncing lights like slightly so for metal I'm gonna use a value of 5 if I set this to 999 it's going to turn into a mirror reflecting light let's keep it to 5 for now all right I'm gonna assign an output map now to the bitmap and give it a bit of contrast using the color map something like this yeah seems nice that's a bit shiny now okay and I'm gonna assign another output map 
oops, deleted this one. Sign another output map and connect it to our reflection glossiness. And play with the RGB offset and the RGB level. So RGB offset, it affects the RGB color or the RGB value of the map. So if you set the amount to, to high, to a high number, it becomes white. So if I set it to something like five, you can see the output map turn white. If I assign it to something like lower than than one, maybe something like 0 0.5, it will turn like gray. It will give a grayish color. Zero turns it black. So for the RGB offset here, I think I'm gonna go with something like 0 0.2.5 or actually minus 0 0.2 yeah minus 0. Minus 0 0.2 and for the RGB level the RGB level it affects the saturation of the the map used so if we lower the value it makes it gray and decreases the saturation of it so for this one I think I'm gonna use a value of like 2.6 or 2.7 maybe yeah it looks nice it looks metal there's a little bit of scratches on the handles and now let's use bump that's a lot of bump here maybe something like 0 0.1 would do or actually let's make it a bill a, yeah 0 0.2 so it becomes a little rough 0 0.25 i think yeah 0 0.25 is as a sweet spot and that's it for the base metal move this aside okay now we need a scratch map to add more grunge and scratches for the lantern we're gonna need another corona material and we're going to call it scratch metal and we're going to assign it to layer 1 okay in this case I need the scratches to be a little bit reflective I think I'll go with the reflection 1 IR to something like 20 wait for the save 25 I guess 27 yeah 27 would do and we're going to assign a scratch map now so reflection glossiness general bitmap and you can choose any scratch map that you have downloaded it will look something like this scratches all over as you can see now, the scratches are popping on the lantern, but I'm gonna make it a bit more sharp, so I'm not gonna decrease the blur to something like 0 0.2, and increase the tiling to something like 1.7, and 1.7, alright maybe add some bump to the scratches oh something like 0 0.07 i think yeah seems good 
maybe play with the output a bit so rgb offset is going to be something minus 0 0.3 and the rgb level to something like 1.8 0 0.25 yeah this seems nice okay let's go to the base material and set the blur to something like 0 0.2 also to make it a bit more sharp and that's it for the scratch metal and let's move it aside we're going to mask this now so we're going to need a fall off map uh, fall off map assign it to mask number one set the fall off type to Fresnel. okay and increase the index of refraction to something like 2.1 or yeah actually 2.1 is nice okay and now for the rust material or actually dirt and rust we're going to need another corona material we're going to call it rust and dirt okay we're going to assign it to layer number two let's move this a bit okay we're going to need a dirty map I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Decrease the blur to something like 0 0.2. Increase the tiling to something like 2. And 2. Yeah, this seems nice. And maybe rotate it to something like 90. No, actually, zero. Okay, we're going to set the diffuse to something like zero point seven, and reflection to something like zero point four. We don't need it to be reflecting a lot, and the IR set it to two as it's metal. For the bitmap. We're going to use an output map. Go to output. Enable color map. And give it a darker value. This seems nice. Maybe something like this. Okay, and now we need another output map. Let's wait for the save. Another output map connected to the reflection glossiness. Mm. Set the RGB level something like 0 0.8. 0 0.6. 0.7 I think I'm gonna go with something like 0 0.8 all right now I'm going to mix them In the mix amount set it to reflection color To give it more contrast and the mix amount is going to be 0 0.6 by 1 
All right. Give it a value. Or actually, I give a value of 200. Or, yeah, 220 for the fall off map. All right. That's it for the rust. And now we're going to mask it. So we're going to need two output maps. Where is it? Two output maps. Corona AO, which stands for ambient occlusion. All right. So let's make this bigger. I'm going to remove this one here. Move it a bit. We're going to use a corona material. Name it test. And choose any color that you want. I'll go with something like orange, maybe. Yeah. And assign it to layer 2. So we can actually see what's going on. I'm gonna assign the first Corona AO to output, the output the second output, and output to mask number two. Before I assign it, check this out. Okay. So for Corona AO, I'm gonna decrease distance to something like seven and the color spread to something like 0 0.6 so we can actually see where the dirt and the, the rust is going to spread actually i'm gonna invert this one so we can see better and the first output we're going to make it a bit more contrast for this too Okay, this seems nice. Second output, something like this. Okay, let's play with the AO a bit. Let's try a value of 10. Mm. Maybe a value of 8. This seems pretty nice. Value of 7. 7.5. I think 7.5 is a sweet spot. Okay. And increase the max samples to something like 17. The higher the value the clearer the image and more details okay now we don't need this test map anymore i'm gonna remove it and assign back the dirt map layer 2 as you can see it's dark and there's scratches and dirt everywhere but actually i'm going to change the color something like blue the base material or actually maybe something like olive a little bit darker mm. yeah this seems nice Yep, this one is perfect. Let's try to create a light inside it now. Oops. Okay. Let's 
move the camera a bit. All right, let's create a Corona light inside it. Make sure to check sphere. Okay, give it a Kelvin temperature of 4000. So it's actually looking like a real light. Okay. Now back to the Corona camera, we're going to go to post processing, override, increase the bloom to something like 2, maybe 3, 4, yeah I think 4 is good, and the glare increase it to something like 2, go back to the light and give it an intensity of something like 120. 100 mm, Yeah, 100 seems nice Let's try 80 for a bit 80 is good But I'll decrease the bloom a bit something like 2 Yep, and the glare to something like 1.5 I mean, 1.5, not 15. <laughs> okay. Now, group this to lantern. Move it to the middle. Okay. Select the floor material, give it a bit of reflection, something like 0 0.6. Okay, and for the background, reflection on something like 0 0.7. Okay. For the render setup, we're going to go to scene, set the noise level something like 2, denoise mode to high quality, denoise amount to 0.65. And that's basically everything. Let's give it a test render. select region all right seems good but I'll need to Increase the sharpness a bit and make the dirt spread a, lo a lot more. So we're going to use a bitmap, use any dirt map that you have and connect it to AO distance. Okay, 0 0.2 for the blur, tiling to by two maybe make all make sure that all the bitmaps are blurred to 0 0.2 okay let's give this a little bit tiling something like two by two two by two it seems pretty nice 
This is the scratch map. I'm gonna use it also to buy two. Okay. Uh, decrease the reflection in the background, something like 0 0.4. Or actually make it in 0. We don't, re we don't need any reflection in the back. Okay. So for the final render, let's increase the output size. Something like 2000 by 1500. Actually a little bit more. Okay, I think it's going to be 2000. Okay, and start the rendering. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It will help me a lot. So thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for another video.